Harmony Project is kind of like an empathy organization. It's shifting perceptions of everything from class and race and equality. I think it gives people uh, a sense of purpose and a sense of meaning and belonging. We're always looking for things that try and make us come together. Harmony Project makes, makes people come together. It does that. The diversity at South High School is celebrated through the Harmony Project because you do have so many different people from different backgrounds and cultures coming together with, um, you know, that one goal in mind. And, and that's something that I can say I appreciate about the program, that it doesn't discriminate. Regardless of who you are, what you are, what race, what ethnicity, what belief, your lifestyle, Harmony Project is that safe place. And here you can come and be yourself and know that you're going to be respected, you're going to be valued, and you're going to be included. Kids walk through the door when I greet them in the morning and they're like, Mrs. Jones, is Harmony Project still happening today? just changed my perception so much of, um, I guess, just prisons, the people who are in them, and um, justice, and the big picture of it. But then also just the humanity of each of these women has really impacted me. Their stories, their power, their strength, and their humanity is something that I would not have had exposure to. It changed how I view and, and how I do corrections, how, how, I, I, how I work every single day. It is very hard to change culture inside these institutions. It's not something that happens quickly and that's very easily done. But I will tell you, I've never seen anyone be able to do it like Harmony. Every Wednesday when the Harmony Project would come into the house, it was like a beacon of light, a beacon of hope, and just unconditional love the width and breadth of the mission in terms of serving high school kids to prisoners to uh, homeless and differently abled populations um, so that it brings home the message that we are all in this together. Previous to Harmony Project's adoption of it, the center faced a lot of vandalism, graffiti, just general not great things were happening outside of the center. And since that um, mural's been installed, there's, they've had no issues with that. Because I think it really invokes a sense of pride and community, and Harmony Project's been able to create that for that community center. But what I can say about Harmony is they do what they say they're going to do. And I spoke that I said, when you're around, there's like love in the air, and I don't, I don't say that lately. It's like a family, and they feel the love, and they feel that everyone is together. Our individuals um, who are part of the Commons really appreciate you reaching out and knowing, you know, that somebody hasn't forgotten them. Our ultimate goal is to have our participants out there engaged, becoming members of their community and just, you know, making, being just like you and me, just like anybody else. And I think the people and the volunteers at Harmony do a very good job of that. It's really kind of incredible when you think about bringing so many people together from so many different walks of life to all of a sudden have a common goal and a common mindset of just doing good and spreading good. Harmony it also gives people, I think, hope for the future and hope for, um, a, a better tomorrow because of what we're doing today and what we're what the what kind of seeds we might be planting. And it helped me um, realize that like I'm not alone when it comes to thinking like the world is universal and everything is connected. Because usually people like to stray from that thought process, but people really are receptive to other people's feelings now since I was able to understand how empathy is really the strong suit for the human race. I feel like Columbus is the heart of Ohio, but Harmony is the heart of Columbus. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine.